Creo Parametric 11 has new preferences and options that allow you to control how people can manage the flat states of your sheet metal parts. Here I have a part model. It is a multi-body part. Let me start off by using the flat pattern manager in order to create my flat state for the sheet metal body in here. I will select it, right mouse click, and then go to flat pattern state flat. And so now that I've got my flattened state, I could go to the drop down from flat pattern and you have the option of creating either a part level simplified rep for the flat pattern or creating a family table instance. Well, some companies don't like family tables and they don't want you to use family tables for managing your flat patterns. But at other companies, they want to make sure that you have a distinct model for creating your flat patterns and they don't want you to use part level simplified reps. Now in Creo 11, you can control which of these commands are available from the drop down menu as well as which ones are available from the flat pattern preview. For example, if I go to the flat pattern preview, this icon allows me to create an instance. This one allows me to create a representation. So let's go to file options and take a look at those new preferences. I'll go to file options and then from the categories over on the right, let's choose sheet metal and then scroll down to the bottom. So first you have the ability to control what commands are visible to people at your company. You can allow them to create either an instance or a part level simplified representation, or you could limit them to just instances, or you could limit them to just those part level simplified reps. So let's say that we change this in here to instance and then click on the OK button. And here it gives us the option for saving it to the config.pro file so that you will have this set for the next time that you launch Creo Parametric, but I'm going to say no to this for now. And so now when I go to the flat pattern drop down menu, you'll notice that create instance is available, but create representation is grayed out. Similarly, if I go to my flat pattern preview, well, if you take a look, the icon for creating the representation is grayed out as well. Let's close the preview. Let's go back to our options and options and then change to the sheet metal category and check out the other choice. Let's go to representation and then I will choose the OK button. And for this one, it's like, uh, yeah, let's click no again to not set that option. Let's go to the flat pattern drop down. And now instance is grayed out and representation is available. Similarly, when I go to my flat pattern preview, hey, now we have the create representation icon available, but instance is grayed out. Let's take a look at some of the other preferences that you have available to you. Let me go to the options. Let's once again go to the sheet metal category. And so let's scroll down and I'm going to change this to instance and representation. Here you have a field for the instance name format. And there are four different parameters that you could use for having a standard name for your instances for those flat patterns. You could use a combination of the part name, the body name, the body state, and a running index. In other words, it'll start with the number one and then increment every time that you create a, another one of those instances, depending on how many bodies that you have. And for the instance name running index method, you could choose remove gaps or incremental. What that means is that if you have a flat pattern and you end up deleting it, it'll end up reusing that available number the next time that you are creating a new instance. Otherwise, when you choose incremental, it's always going to use a higher number and it'll leave those gaps in the sequences that you have. And we also have the representation name format. Again, it can be a combination of the part name, the body name, and the body state. These are the default values, but you could change these to whatever you want them to be. 
And again, when I change these ones and try to get out of this dialog box, it asks me if I want to change the configuration file. Let's take a look at the config.pro options. Let me cancel out of there for a second. I'll go to configuration editor, and then we can click on the find button. And I'm going to type in SMT for sheet metal underscore flat. And then let's click on find now. And let me expand the width of the dialog box. And so for the first one that we'll take a look at is the sheet metal flat rep instance option. And the default choice is instance and representation, or you could change it to just instance or just representation. Then we have our name formats. So if you are using a family table, then you can set the format for the family table instance name. If you are using a part level simplified rep, this is where you can set the part level simplified reps name format. And then we have that instance index where you can choose whether it is going to remove gaps or just use the next available higher number. So there you have it. Those are your new preferences and options for your sheet metal flat states in Creo 11.